morning guys and welcome. Today is Wednesday. We missed Horton Station yesterday because Tiffany had an early morning lesson. How do you feel about early, early morning lessons? It's terrible. I'm not awake. But it was a really good lesson. So hopefully that'll be posted for you guys tonight. It is show week. We're getting ready for a show. We've been riding a little bit more ever since the weather changed. Because in the heat you can't ride, especially on the black horse. Yeah, it's, it was like a heat wave. It wasn't just regular heat. Although people say, I've seen experts say that you should still ride in a heat wave because oftentimes shows in the summer are during heat waves and if your horse isn't accustomed to it, then that's, that's worse than not riding in a heat wave. But it's not something that we do. We don't ride in heat waves. We don't have lessons in heat waves, but we've been riding a little bit more this week. So if he's been riding in the yard, it's not ideal. We are definitely gonna put in an outdoor arena soon. Well, so the problem with the outdoor arena is that there's no time. There's literally no time. We should have done it as soon as we moved here, but we were just so busy doing everything else, getting our horses home and stuff. So there was no time and now there's no time. Like it's gonna be snowy here in a month. So it just seems dumb to do all that work and then not be able to ride in it until next year. So yeah. see, even the goose, was that the duck? Yeah. Even the duck agrees with me. So we have Farrier today. So everyone is in waiting their turn. She's not here yet, but she always comes to us first. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> just joking. That was sarcasm. That was total sarcasm. And if you guys see white feathers everywhere, it's just duck is growing her adult feathers. Yeah. Some of our chickens are molting. One of our chickens is molting. Anyway, I get really excited when our farrier comes and I get really excited when our vet comes because both of them are a wealth of information and they teach me a lot and our farrier always helps us with so many things. Like she's just, our farrier literally is just so helpful. Honestly, <laughs> our horses have taken to biting stuff. <laughs> what the heck, Penny? She's biting a cord that we have there that ties those doors together. All right, you would never know that this spot was the spot of total carnage 10 minutes ago. Farrier is done. It is dark and dreary today. Wormers. Our good friend Allie T, some of you guys might know her, she comments sometimes, sent us a couple of packages today and I'm really excited about them so we're gonna show them to you right now. We're, whoops, I don't know that one first. I pre-opened them so we wouldn't take forever opening them but I'm excited, she told me what she sent. You wanna open it, Sophie? So some of you guys suggested that I get these cloud boots for Chino and I haven't had a chance to try and figure them out yet, but she sent them. Can you believe that? She actually bought these for Chino. An entire pair. The only thing I know about them so far is that they're incredibly expensive, but they're supposed to be a support boot for laminated horses and they're good for abscesses. They're good for trailer traveling. They're good for, they're good for, I don't know, so many things, but look at them. They are so gorgeous. I actually can't even believe she sent them. So this is what they look like. You put your foot in there and there's this really nice soft pad in there. It helps, it helps manage their pain. Isn't that amazing though. And she sent two. Wow, that is amazing. I can't believe it. Chino is so lucky. Oh, look at that. It has an integrated comfort pad. All right, it's gonna take me a while to figure these out. It comes with a sticker that says, please view application instructions. I'm definitely gonna need to do that. Thank you so much, Allison. That is so kind of you. Like, I can't even believe you sent this. This is so incredible. And Chino thanks you so much. Thank you so much. Honestly, that's so kind. We're opening this in the barn because we're helping bring in hay. <laughs> the goose is like, did she send me something? What are these for? Oops. Oh, so those are pads to go in there. I don't know if they're extra pads. They're easy care accessories. I'm honestly going to have to look this all up. But you can see how, you can see how they're wedged to help the horse to give them frog support and keep their foot up. Anyway, that's super cool. I don't know if that's the same as what's in there already. I'm gonna have to watch a video. I'm gonna sit here and do that now because this is a lot more than my brain can comprehend. I can't believe it. This is a whole system 
And I can't believe she sent this to us. That's so kind. All right, what do you got there? I don't know yet. So I think this is something for Gabby and for Sophie. So you just open that package. Struggling. <gasps> it's a, it's Stitch. So my kids love Stitch. I don't know if you guys know that. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Oh, that one is so cute. Let's see. It's a Stitch pencil case and it is adorable. And inside has a Stitch pen. Oh no, it's a rainbow pen. That, whoops. It's a rainbow pen. It's adorable. A stitch lanyard. A little stitch. Oh, this is like the thing that goes with the lanyard. That's super cool. And then some stickers. Is that for you to put your card in? What do you think? I love it. It's adorable. Yep, there's one more thing here. Some slime. Oh, Sophie's favorite thing. You should save it and share it with Gabby. That's cool. So this is cloud slime. And it looks like there's a stitch in this as well. Mmm, it smells so good, you guys. Amazing. What an amazing, thoughtful gift. There's another package here for Gabby. And it looks like another pencil case in there. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's so kind. I know Gabby will love it too. Thank you so much, honestly. Like, I can't even believe it. I know I, kept, I keep saying that, but honestly, this is so amazing. And I can't wait to show you guys how this helps Gino. Like, I can't even... Honestly, this is like probably the most exciting thing that I've ever received. <laughs> Thank you so much. These boots Never are... Dad make this again. These oh, boots are goat approved. These boots are goose approved. <laughs> I actually like almost feel like crying you guys. Today I was feeling so super discouraged about Chino. I just, I don't know, I just, I was feeling really sad and it's just hard to see him like, I thought he would just get better so fast and it's taking forever. How long is that? <laughs> He's like, don't feel sad, Laura. <laughs> How long, Mom? And I was just feeling so discouraged and then we put one boot on so far and honestly, it was like Chino was like, oh, this is amazing. I know a lot of people recommended that I get them and I looked at them, but it was gonna take a long time for me to figure them out because I had to do sizing and I had to figure out like, I couldn't even figure out what they were really for. But man, they, these might really make a huge difference to our horse, like, I can't even believe it. And she guessed the size and the size is perfect. Do you think being underneath the horse is the right place to be? This this goose. Yeah, Chino's a safe horse. Yeah, this who's this goose stands underneath Chino. <laughs> and eats his boot. You know, that's what geese do. They taste everything. So the goose wants a pair of boots. So this is how it works. You open them up, and what's so cool is that to put them on, you have to flip the back down, and they flip flip down in literally with one hand. You guys just saw me do it with one hand and they're so soft. Like even this is like, I could sleep on this. And this, so soft and so comfy. And this, which seems really hard, and I that's what I couldn't figure out, like how that would even be comfortable. It actually molds to the horse's foot so that the horse, it's like literally like being on a cloud. Honestly, this goose loves these boots. <laughs> He's gonna part, try and put his foot in there. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest little thing? We need to get them some toys. Um, All right, there he is. Chino boots. All right, you guys, I think he likes them. I think, he, like, as soon as we put them on, he went walking. <laughs> He's like, what is this? Get it off. <laughs> we'll monitor them and make sure that they're okay. But wow. All right, so we didn't get a chance to do our morning chores today. Well, Sam and Sophie cleaned the barn, but... 
I didn't get a chance to do my hit chores because I had to help with the farrier. You gotta go all the way around, Ellie. It sucks. I know the feeling. Come on, you gotta go around. Go around. Hi, baby. Hi, you wanna go for a walk? So I wanna take the goats for a little walk down the path. Look at his, his hair standing up. Hi. Sophie's carrying her little package everywhere. <laughs> Ruby, come. That's what's frustrating. The goats won't come in if they see a dog. Just open the door and let them come in. See how hard that was? So the crazy thing about the horses is that once you like do your stuff in the morning and take care of anything that needs to get done, they're easy. You just leave them, sort of. But goats, you're always fussing with them. Sophie's getting tired. So with goats, you're always doing their feet or you're always doing some kind of trouble with them. So this is where we're at with the goats. So we have about three more months before we have to decide if we're gonna breed them. No, oh, you're forced to like me. <laughs> she was petting Rosie. Who's Tilly. Tilly, who's the first time in this thing. It's her first time in here. She's not loving it. She needs to just sit for a few minutes and get used to it. Anyway, we have literally only three more, three or four more months before we decide if we're gonna breed them this year. And I'm not gonna breed them unless I can get th their body the way that I want it before breeding. Our vet said that they're okay, an okay weight and, our, and another person that we um, have helping us with our goats, she said, she's an expert, and she said they're an okay weight, but to me, I don't want to breed them at this weight. So the only way for me to get their weight where I want it to be in the next three or four months is by weaning the kids. We've been trying to wean the babies. A lot, like everything that I see says the babies wean naturally at 10 weeks. That's not been the case for us. We've had to wean them, but I don't want to take them away from their moms. We only have such a small little herd. There's only four of them. And we already had to wean the boy and take him away. And that was really hard. I hate hearing them scream and scream and scream. So I decided to try the taping method, which was a win-win for us because it just entails taping up um, their teats so that the babies can't nurse. And it takes a little bit longer, but it works. And to me, it's more natural. To me, it's more kind. Tilly, our black and white goat, is completely weaned. She's completely dried up. She doesn't have any more milk. So she will start she should start to like bulk up a little bit more and start to get a little bit um, bigger and Tilly who had the twins who had substantially more milk and much nicer udder She still has a little tiny bit of milk left So uh, what we ended up doing is we tape up their teats and then after like about 48 hours The babies will they keep trying and trying and trying and they'll get the tape off but just those 48 hours will start to like dry up the milk a little bit. So then, and then after 48 hours, we'll go back down, we'll tape them up again. So they get little tiny bits of milk every once in a while when the tape comes off. Um, and I love that method. Another thing I like about that method is that the mamas don't become completely engorged. I know what engorgement feels like. It's not that fun um, th because they're just weaning slowly. So that's the method we chose to use. Uh, the mama's, one mama is totally dried up and the other mama is almost dried up. She probably has, I'd say, another week before she's dried up. So then they have another three weeks, three months, maybe four months before we have to totally decide if we're going to breed them. And I mean, we could even go five months if we really wanted to. But so that's our plan with the goats, but it's a lot of work. Non-stop trying to get everything done that we need to get done today. Well, hello. <laughs> Did you hear our name? <laughs> or did you hear our voices? It's literally one animal after another. <laughs> Go through one door, there's animals. We come through another door, there's animals. And there's more. Oh my god. You're so cute. Come on! Come on, babies! Hi. <laughs> Sam is burning off all the old stuff. Like, we're getting ready for fall. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 